Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman here on the opening day of turkey season. Another turkey season has come upon us, and uh, I just heard some goblin. I heard one up here and one over here. I'm on some public land. I haven't heard anything over here except a gunshot. I heard a shot a while ago. But there's one goblin pretty hot right up here. I'm just listening right now. Trying to zero in on one. I'm gonna blow an owl call and see if I can get a response here. <laughs> Got an owl to call back. No goblin right here. I did call in a mature bird up here on this ridge last year. He didn't quite come in far enough for me to get a shot. But then after that, I also called in a couple of jakes and I let them go. Those owls are really sounding off up there. If there was a gobbler there, he should have already called back or gobbled anyway. A lot of times, it helps just to stop and listen, just to really listen to the woods. Don't get in too much of a hurry, too much of a rush. That's a big mistake people make all the time, you know. Well, folks, I got up here on this ridge, got set up. I haven't heard a peep yet. I did hear a gobble way off in the distance over on some private land. But all the way up here to this spot, the woods are just all scratched up, so the turkeys are coming through here. And they've been here lately because I'm looking at fresh scratching right here in front of me. What I mean by that is where the leaves are scratched up, where the turkeys have been foraging for food. Could be a big flock of hens, but wherever there's hens, there ought to be some gobblers too. This is the field I was telling you about on the edge of these woods here. That's the border of private land and public hunting. So I'm going to stay here for a little while and do some calling. Some of the first calls of the season. Let's see if we get a response. I don't know. Probably not a turkey with an earshot right now. But here we go, we'll give it a try. This is a homemade striker that I made out of some black walnut that I had laying around last year. I lost my favorite striker, but this one here sounds just about as good. I think a lot of these gobblers are hand up right now. Still early. I'm gonna 
sit here for a little while. See if I can hear one goblin somewhere. Maybe try to get a little closer to him. Be able to call him in, you know. A lot of turkey hunting is just listening. Pretty nice morning out here though. Conditions are fairly calm. Hardly any wind. It's a good morning just to listen to what's going on in the woods. Nothing. We'll give it a little time and then we'll try somewhere else. He's got a brush hanging off of him. Man, what a turkey. Three jakes. Heading up into the woods. Well folks, I just blew an owl call and I thought I heard a gobble in that direction there. Let me try it again, see what happens. Goblin right in there. Let's go. Okay, folks, I think I'm pretty close to where that gobbler was. I think he's just over the rise here. Let's give him a few yelps.
hand up here and a tree roosted. brushy right here but I think I can I see the bird I see you Several more toms right in there, but I got one down right here.
Well, there's a long beard. I guess it did happen this morning, didn't it? <laughs> well, folks, it is now 6.47 in the morning, and uh, I just harvested this gobbler about 20 minutes ago or so, and uh, I couldn't get real good footage of this one here. I had some more gobblers coming from my right, adjacent to a field. And this one here just kind of snuck in on me. I heard him spitting and drumming. And when I saw him, he was right there within range. He was like 30 yards away. And when I turned my head, I think he caught a little movement there and he was getting ready to leave. So I had to go ahead and take the shot. I could tell that he was strutting when, he was, when I heard him spitting and drumming and I could see the full fan. So I knew he was a mature bird and I didn't want to waste any time so I went ahead and harvested this bird. And uh, I was using my Remington 1187. Been a good companion in the turkey woods. Got a pretty good beard. Probably about a 10 inch beard or so. And uh, he's just a real good solid gobbler. I think he's a three year old. And uh, there were several more. I don't know how many gobblers were out in that field but I think I counted four more. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this bird out of here. But before I go, remember to always thank the good Lord for all of the things that he provides for us. These fine game animals, they should be respected. And that's what I do, you know. I always thank the good Lord. And only by his will are we allowed to participate and to take the fine animals that he's provided for us. So with that being said, let me thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, if you'd like to go hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, hiking, whatever your outdoor pursuit might happen to be, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And also remember, hit the like button, smash that bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this one will be coming your way. So until next time, y'all take good care of one another, and God bless you. We'll see.